Hi, Lorraine Grula with VideoProductionTips.com here, and today I'm going to talk more about the video editing software Final Cut Express, and I'm going to show you lots of tricks for manipulating your video to make it look completely different or to move it around or just anything you really want to do with it. Okay, now, I'd like to say, if you'd like to watch a video on Final Cut Express software that's a little bit more basic than one this one will be. And in case, uh, you know, if this one confuses you, what you want to do is watch the first video by clicking the interactive button and that will open up the other video for you, okay? You can watch that first. But if you've already seen that one or already know a little bit about video editing, you can watch this one um, and, and not mess with that other one, all right? Save you some time. But anyway, so what I want to do today, I want to talk about how to alter video in Final Cut Express. All right, now video editing, of course, is all about uh, manipulating your video, altering your video. So when I say altering your video, that could be anything from changing its size to changing its color to changing where it... Uh, is on the screen, making it move, making it grow. There, there's a lot of different ways to do it. One of the things I like about a program of the level of Final Cut Express is that you have complete and total control over virtually every tiny little aspect of your video. And so today what I'm going to cover is the process of making changes to your video, whatever change you want to make. Each change, of course, is different. But I'm going to talk about the process kind of more in general, all right? What you do in Final Cut is you take a clip that has been placed in the timeline and then you double click on it and that sends it back up into your viewer. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, let me explain a little bit about why you want to do that. And this is a real, real, real basic thing about video editing. Video editing on a computer is what you call non-destructive editing. You do not want to alter or destroy your original clips. You want them to remain as they were as original clips. Now, if you want to alter them, what you do is you want to make a copy of it and then alter it so you always have your original, all right? So, because of that, what you do to alter a clip is first you take it from your project and you put it in your timeline, all right? And the process for doing that is to take it from your browser, put it into your viewer, select which portion you want, and then put it down in your timeline. Once you've got it in your timeline, and you, that's when you can then alter it. So you take what you've put in your timeline, you double click on it, and that sends it back up into your viewer. Now, like I've told you before, the viewer is a place where you can do lots of different things to your video. And this is where you make lots of alterations. Now, when you have your viewer on the video tab up here, you see the actual shot. Well, as you can see, there's other tabs. All right, let's put it on the motion tab. Here's the motion tab, okay? And now many different things fall under motion. It's not just moving it. Size, rotation, cropping it, distorting it, giving it a drop shadow. So all of those different things are in your motion tab. All right, so look, I can rotate it. I can make it bigger, smaller. I can give it a drop shadow, which right now the drop shadow is black, so you can't see it. So let me make the drop shadow pink. Oh, yummy. Yuck. <laughs> anyway, um, you can change where the drop shadow is. Whee! By rotating that. Um, you have the crop is under motion, the distort, all of those different things. You can change your aspect ratio. That's in the motion tab. So see, all of those different things are changed by uh, taking your video, your original video, making a copy of it, putting it in your timeline, and then taking it from your timeline, putting it back into your viewer, and then clicking on the motion tab and altering the things that you want to alter. All right? Now, one thing, so look at all those different things you change just in that one tab. Now, uh, 
the other major way to alter your video in a program like Final Cut is to add a filter. All right. So now let's add a filter. So to add a filter, you go up here to Effects, Video Filters, and then um, you've got your choice of a variety of filters. Filters can change the color of your video. They can change whether it's in focus or not. If you want to correct your, your color, you would use a filter. If you want to distort your color, you would use a filter. If you would want a green screen, you use a filter. All of those things are filters. So you add whatever filter you want. In this case, let's add a, a blur filter, a Gaussian blur filter. Now a Gaussian blur filter takes it out of focus. And you use that a lot believe it or not, <laughs> you use that a lot to take stuff out of focus so perhaps you can put words or other elements on top of it and it will show better because what you've got underneath is out of focus, all right? Well, once you add the filter, it shows up here, voila, in the filter tab of your viewer. And here is where you could alter the parameters of the filter. I can make it more out of focus or less out of focus here all right in the filter tab so that's all that action going on inside the window known as the viewer in Final Cut and you get there by those various tabs right up here in the viewer and that's how you change and manipulate your video so for videoproductiontips.com I'm Lorraine Grula. I hope you enjoyed that. Drop me a line and I'll uh, answer your specific questions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.